Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Funny story, I knew my box was coming. At 12 noon, I got ready, put on my makeup, set up my camera, my lighting, and everything was ready to go. I knew the mailman was gonna arrive around 1.30 in the afternoon, and it would be perfectly just in time for me to do the unboxing. But 5 p.m. came, my makeup was wearing down, and the mailman did not arrive until around 7 p.m. at night. And so I had to postpone my BoxyCharm unboxing video. But finally it's here, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited to open the box. Actually, I already know what's in here, and so I'm gonna try my best to try on everything that I got here in the box. And I think, looking at this, we might be able to use every single one. The first thing that I got is three sheet masks from Tony Moly. I got the Illuminating, Purifying, and Calming Mask. There's something illuminating in my box and you guys might be able to guess what that is. So I'm gonna pass on this mask and not use it. Um, for today, I think I'm gonna go with Calming Mask. So I love sheet mask, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Glossier band or headband. This looks like I'm gonna run a marathon, but that's okay. <laughs> But this is from Glossier because I am testing some Glossier skincare products. And it looks like it gently calms irritated skin. So I think this is definitely going to help with redness, calms your skin down, especially if you feel like you're irritated. Mouth area is a little too small, but some Korean sheet masks tend to be you know, made for like smaller face shapes. I like to use the excess serum on my hands. It says to leave on for about 20 to 30 minutes. So we'll go with 20 minutes and show you the results. Okay, so <clears throat> I like the mask. It was very cooling on the face while it was on. So I love that. The only thing that I didn't like was that it was more meant for like a small face shape especially the nose area it started creeping upward which was blocking my airways it wasn't very relaxing you can get tony moly mask at ulta they're about three dollars and 75 cents each but they do go on sale every now and then so when they do definitely grab it i'm very interested in the purifying mask and so i wasn't highly highly excited about these especially because tony moly is a pretty common brand that i've um you know tried so many times at ulta so it was nothing new to me but overall good product so the next item in here that i got is the benefit pore fashional it's a pore filling primer that you put under makeup and let me get the one that i have right now i've used this many times i don't use pore filling primers as much but if you do have a lot of texture on your skin i highly recommend this i'm not gonna open this one and i'm gonna end up using mine i think i'm almost empty too this is about ready to go so perfect timing for that benefit pore fashional to arrive it's like a moussey texture and i like to put it here on my pores near my nose you can kind of already tell it's smoothing up and blurring my face a little bit. By the way, this is what the card looks like. And the theme is festival vibes. Speaking of festival, do you guys like this tie-dye sweater that I got? Um, I got it from Kohl's. Other than the fact that there's a quarantine happening, I love the convenience of the drive-by pickup lane at Kohl's. Um, so I bought my sweaters online, and they're on sale by the way because, you know, it's spring, so. But it's still cold here where I live. I still need like very thin sweaters. In two hours, my order was ready, and I got to pick it up at the drive-by lane at Kohl's, and they brought it out to you. You don't even have to go down they don't want you to open your windows or anything i'm gonna drop it in your trunk they won't even touch your cart actually it was so fast um it beats waiting for shipping to arrive i love that it's here and it's so cute i've never tried it myself i'm sure that service has been available but now more than ever it's such a convenience for all the shoppers you know? i'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on and then get back to you and we will do 
maybe the highlighter okay guys so I have my whole foundation on I have the um, wet and wild dewy foundation this is a fairly new foundation that just came out and it's supposed to be the dewy counterpart of the very popular wet and wild foundation that's really a cult favorite but I'm gonna tell you now they're not the same formula obviously because <laughs> one is dewy and one is not but there's distinct differences between the two and I can't wait to tell you guys next one that I got in my boxy charm box which is the iconic London illuminator $41 this bottle here and there's different ways you could use this you could use this as a body illuminator um, but you can also add it to your foundation and, and I didn't want that because I didn't want to be super dewy all over and the other one way to do it is as a moisturizer so this is supposed to be a little bit hydrating as well you could use it as an illuminator or a highlighter as well so we're gonna do it that way so that it's more subtle when I got this I wasn't excited at all or I think the choices were the Hank and Henry and this one I just was hoping not to get this one because I am already an oily <laughs> kind of gal and I don't need to add more highlighter to my face but since this is the second time this brand has arrived in my box I told myself I'm not gonna diss it and really give it a try so looks like this it comes in a bottle oh my god look at my dropper guys can you guys see it's all crooked is it supposed to be like that that's too funny Okay, I'm just gonna drop it here on my hand. It's super highlighty. I think I'm gonna use my small duo fiber brush by Sigma. Hey, oh my gosh, it's so highlighty. I don't know. I'm gonna put it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. A little goes a long way, guys, and it is. Nope. Okay, so this is the wrong brush for it gonna put some here and a dot there I love the glow that it gives me it's not accentuating the pores in any way it's just a very nice like glow from within but you guys can definitely see that huh I put too much <laughs> Ooh, look at that I'm a glowy mess but yeah you guys can see how glowy it looks see that Okay, let's do my nose. It blends really nice, guys. I mean, if I want to go extra, I would definitely use this. I'm glad I kept it for myself because it's not bad. It's like champagne-y pink, so it goes really well with my skin tone. Um, the Iconic London is also sold at Ulta. I think this would be great for people with extremely dry skin. You can use this as a moisturizer and put it all over your face and then your foundation. So I think that would balance everything out and give you that nice hydrated look on your face. The last two items are the two items that I'm most, most excited about. So the next thing that I got in my BoxyCharm box is the Zoeva palette eyeshadow palette this was part of the choice choice means you're able to choose one item in the box that way that guarantees that you get at least one item in the box that you really want and you had to choose between the Zoeva um, palettes and there were 10 different variations I think or nine different variations of the palette on Elemis skincare and also I think cleanser and I got the palette that's called cafe and I've already looked at this guys it is beautiful when I saw cafe and just looking at the palette I thought it was gonna be straight up you know nudes and neutral palette there's no mirror but look at this <gasps> I love everything and the color that really got my attention was this um, tasting note which is like the perfect mauve color for me let's just go ahead and swatch it you have your greens your olives you have your browns you have um, you have you know a little bit of peachy orange here some pinks that I love mauvey pink so what an amazing amazing palette five shimmers and and five matte shades hope you guys can see all of the colors right there very beautiful it's everything that you would like in a palette pretty much the pigmentation swatching them is 
looking really, really good. I'm so glad, you know, BoxyCharm got my profile right because this is definitely the color scheme that I would go for. It's a very nice color story. So I'm just gonna start with using Microfoam, this color right here, just all over my eyes, just to smooth out any creases. Um, New Wins History, this one right here, this kind of lightish pink and just go all over my crease, above my crease. Don't be afraid to go high. I'm gonna deepen my crease with the tasting note right here. I've always wanted to try the Zoeva brand in general. I read about their brand and they're really all about empowering and supporting women in need. Um, their eyeshadow palettes cost about $29. We're gonna put the Distinct Experience right here, this pink shade right in the middle. It is so glowy, look at that. I bet it's even better if I put a primer, but we'll just keep it simple for now. Maybe I'll use this one, Cup of Joy, right there. I'm so glad I selected this instead of the skincare because I've been drooling over the Zoeva palettes for so many years now. I just haven't bit the bullet. Even though it's a really brown base, it has kind of like a purple undertone which goes well with the whole look. Let's blend it again with that pink mauve color. While I'm waiting for my mascara to dry, let's go on to the last item that I got in my box, which is the Dose of Colors Lip It Up Satin Lipsticks. And I own the um, Mocha. This is the Mocha Dose of Colors. I love their lipsticks. I love their formula and the packaging and the shape is just, you know, amazing. This color I got is Lava Cake. See how it has like a unique bullet shape? I don't know that it does anything for the application if it makes it better. So let's watch it first on the hand. That's what it looks like right there. It's giving me a little bit of a vampy vibe for my skin tone. I don't know how it's translating on camera. This is a bold color, but it's not. I don't know how to explain it. It's still very wearable. It, it's not like a vampy color, but it's definitely deep. But it has enough red where I can still pull it off on a day-to-day, -day, especially with a more neutral eye look. So I was able to do pretty much a whole face of makeup from all of the things that I got in my BoxyCharm box. So not bad. So just to recap, I got a Dose of Colors lipstick. I got the Iconic London Illuminator. First when I saw this, I was like, grrr. But I'm glad I tried it and gave it a chance. And then I have the Benefit Professional, the Zoeva palette, my favorite, best choice ever. If you're that person that wants to stick to one palette, this is it. And then of course, I got the face mask. Not the most excited because it's a brand that I'm already very familiar with. It's a brand that I've used so many times. If I were to get a face mask, I kind of wanted something that is more new to me, but I don't mind it. It's definitely something that I could use. So, so let's go ahead and calculate the overall value of the box. The Benefit Professional Primer is $32. The Zoeva Palette is $28. Iconic London Illuminator is $41. Dose of Colors Lipstick is $17. And the Tony Moly, a set of three masks is $9. So the overall value of the box is $127. I'm really happy and satisfied with what I got. I hope you liked this video and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews. Stick around, join the family, subscribe. By the way, I do have a giveaway running right now and it's on this video right here. Enter the giveaway by writing enter me in the comments. I'm giving away a whole sheet mask bundle 
with seven sheet mask and a nice headband all from facestory.com. If you're into that, please subscribe, enter my giveaway. I hope you guys like this look. Here's a close up. Have a great, great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!